Now at 11, communities recovering from Hurricane Matthew. Oh, this is a little worse than I expected. Neighbors with nowhere to go after their homes were condemned. Lots of good people's lives are destroyed now. Local leaders promising to help. Yeah, well, we're going to get up every day. Picking up the pieces after the storm. Now, this is CBS 47 Action News Jax at 11. Local coverage you can count on. It has been days since Hurricane Matthew moved out of our area. Thousands of families are still without power. And late tonight, we learned the JEA will not meet its goal of having power restored by midnight. In the last 45 minutes, Mayor Lenny Curry tweeted to email his office if you don't have power in an hour. It is frustrating, but JEA is working on it. They've brought in help from four other states to get the power back on. Here's the latest. Public schools in Duval, St. John's, and Clay will be back open tomorrow, the exception being Orange Park High School, where there was a fire this weekend. Schools in Glynn County won't reopen until next Monday. Mayor Lenny Curry announced a disaster fund that will be used in Northeast Florida. We have live team coverage of the cleanup efforts across Northeast Florida and Southeast Georgia. We begin with Action News Jack's Michael Yashida live in St. John's County, and Michael, leaders there say Matthew caused $2 billion in damage.